So the first kind of sample we're going to look at, a little subheading for me, is a random sample. Okay, now, remind me, remind me. When you go from getting everyone's data to getting just a little part of the data, in solving the problem of practicality, and so you can actually get some reasonable amount of data, we introduce a new problem. What's the new problem we introduce? It's a word I haven't put on here at all, actually. Kind of important, it starts with a B. Bias. Bias, very good, right? So we, we talked about cognitive bias, response bias. Here, because it's to do with samples, we call this sample bias, okay? So sample biases are a problem. What kinds of sample biases did we talk about yesterday? Can anyone think of the examples? Oh, like when you're, when you're like, interviewing people at like a bus stop or something. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so if that particular subsection of the population you're talk talking to all has like the same kinds of characteristics, like everyone who catches a bus or everyone who is at home at 10 a.m. on a Monday, right? If you're getting the same characteristics over and over again, you're not getting, and this is a really important phrase, which I want to write down in a separate color, you're not getting equal representation Your representation of the target population is not equal. It's like skewed in some particular direction. You're only getting these kinds of people. Okay? So a random sample is um, the whole idea is one of the greatest ways to get an equal representation. So here's the sentence that this starts. Equal representation can be achieved by selecting a sample randomly. Hence the name. Random sample. Full stop. Okay. So I'm going to show you three ways to select a random sample. For the first one, uh, if you could open up your laptop for me, um, or device or anything like that. The idea is, we're trying to get equal representation in our sample, right? So what I want to do is instead of picking all the people in my target population who are like this, or all the people like that, I just want to kind of pick some arbitrary set of them. So that's what we mean by random, okay? Now, the three ways I'm going to show you are all quite different to each other. We're gonna kind of go in order of technological fanciness, but they all begin, and this is kind of giving you a clue, they all begin with taking your target population and giving numbers randomly, assigning numbers to everyone in the population. So for instance, I could give each of you a number from one to 24. Okay, a number from one to 24. And I could then pick out like say, five of you on some random numbers, okay? So what each of these methods boils down to, and the first one is the spreadsheet. <coughs> what each of these boils down to is, I want a series of numbers from one to 24. And then maybe for instance, I'll just pick the first five, okay? So, first I'll show you with the spreadsheet. Now, spreadsheets are great because even though you won't have access to, to them in an exam, if you actually want to do this practically out in the real world, and um, there are lots of times when you want to be able to, not just when you want a random sample, spreadsheets far and away are the quickest way to do it. So, you can see I've just got a spreadsheet set up. It's all nice and blank. And what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the fact that this is basically every one of these cells, okay, is like its own little miniature calculator. Okay, so I can get each one of those cells, like, just like I asked you to get your calculator out, you will need it. Each one of those is one of these separately. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, you're probably used to putting in stuff into a spreadsheet like, like words and numbers of your own design. But instead of putting in your own data, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the spreadsheet to calculate some random numbers for me. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in whatever kind of spreadsheet you have open, this is a Google spreadsheet, just hit the button equals. Okay, now what that indicates to the spreadsheet is, hey, I want you to calculate something. I don't just want you to store a word or a number. I actually want you to work something out. Okay, now what we want is a random number. And if it was this class, what I would want is a random number between... 1 and 24. So, sorry? Oh, yeah, okay. All right. So, you can give me a random number, but I want this to give me random numbers. I don't trust you or me to come up with random numbers. Actually, humans are famously bad at coming up with random numbers. So, here's what I'm going to type, and I'd like you to type this just like I am. Now, um, you might not be able to see that. I'm going to write it on the board because you may want to have this um, for yourself later. I put it in equals, right? 
And then I typed in an unusual word. Now, just by seeing it, you can probably guess what it means. It's going to give me a random number between any values I like, right? And I get to choose the values. So you can see, um, depending on what you're using, if you're using Excel, if you type that, like a little menu comes up that says, hey, I recognize what you're talking about, right? Um, on mine, you can see it's like, it's come up in this funny text, so it says, hey, yeah, this is something that I know what you're talking about. So what it's going to expect is if you open a bracket, I'm gonna open a bracket, a space in bracket, just, just a bracket, Okay. Now, um, it might, you might have like auto-completed auto or something like that, which is fine. Um, your screen will have something similar to this. Um, what this says is, after the bracket, you can write this down in your book if you like. Low, comma, high. And then it ends the bracket. Okay. So the idea is, our calculator is going to take a number, a low number and a high number, and it'll spit out some random number between those two. Now what did we want? We wanted 1 to 24, yeah? So I'm going to type in 1, <coughs> comma, 24. And then I'm going to close the bracket, okay? So again, if you've done it right, um, Excel or whatever you're using to do your spreadsheet should do some like funny coloring in there to say, hey, yeah, cool, I recognize the input you've done. And now if you hit enter or return, it should hand you back a random number, okay? Between 1 and 24. Okay, Three. so you want to type in equals ran between open bracket one comma twenty four oh. close bracket with no spaces. Okay. I wrote low, so high. You wrote low, so high. Yeah. Okay, sure, that's all right. Okay, so we're picking numbers here, right? Now here's where it gets really useful for us, right? I've got one random number. No big deal. Suppose I wanted to pick five of you at random. So just like everything else you can on a computer, you can copy that and you can paste it however many times, whoops, did I miss? That you like, okay? So you can see it's gonna keep on continually giving you random numbers. And if you're on, um, if you're on Excel, you can, um, you, know, you can type something and say like text. And then every time you change your spreadsheet, it will hand you back a new set of random numbers. Uh, obviously, I have a lot more here than I need. I only want five. So I could say uh, 23, 7, 12, 5, 24. Those people who have those numbers, you're now my random sample. Does that make sense? Okay. So this is just a quick, efficient way of doing it. It's very, very handy. Okay. So you can use that. Clearly, if you wanted, you could change this, like these low or high numbers to anything you want. Um, but it's a very flexible and quick thing. <laughs>